is Daniel Grant here with your Denver Gazette forecast. Hope you're having a great start to your Monday to Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Overall here in Denver, we'll be looking at partly cloudy skies. I am tracking a storm, however, that will bring us a bit of light snowfall late tonight. We've already watched a cold front push through, so uh, temperatures this afternoon on the cooler side in the upper 30s, low 40s for the metro area with 20s and a couple of spots in the 30s up in the high country. In northern Colorado, across the park, the Elkhead Mountains through Rabbit Ears Pass, we have a winter weather advisory until 11 o'clock this morning. Overall, about four to eight inches. Plus, they've had some pretty gusty winds, so we'll be monitoring that. But really, the majority of that snowfall has already come down to the ground. Here we are at 8 a.m. It's dry here for eastern Colorado, and then we'll be looking at actually some moisture pulling in from the south. So everyone kind of getting in on the action, looking at some of this snow. Here it is around six o'clock when southern Colorado has a nice uh, dose of snow here in the metro area. It'll take a little longer for us to see some of that. So I'm thinking nine, 10 o'clock and really amounts are going to be fairly light here in the city. Again, there goes that cold front and then some energy from the south shifts up into Colorado, bringing a lot of snowfall toward the San Juans, about six to 10 inches, eight to 14 for the eastern side of the San Juans and then the Sangre de Cristos also getting in on the action. Hey, here in town, I'm thinking less than an inch or so in Denver. If you live to the west, Boulder, Golden, Castle Rock, potentially up to two and then in the foothills by Tuesday morning, one to four inches. Here's that seven day forecast keeping us cool on Tuesday. We have a brief warm up on Wednesday before some more seasonal temperatures arrive for the end of the week with more snow on the way next Sunday. Have a good one.